Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. We are in the 27th episode of this series and today we have Akash here with us who has been recently placed at RT Camp as a part of his campus placements at VIT. This is a super dream company and Akash is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. All students belonging to CSC, IT and ECE were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 6 or 60% in 10th, 12th as well as in that pursuing degree with no standing careers. So now let's go ahead and talk to Akash and understand his experience interviewing for this company. Hi Akash, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. Hello, my name is Akash Shaj and uh, I'm from Kanyakumari, Tamil Nadu. So currently I'm in my final year studying computer science uh, in VIT Chennai campus. And I'm a full stack web and mobile application developer. And I recently got placed in uh, Articam as a web engineer trainee. Okay. So I'll be joining in uh, Jan 2024. Okay. Okay. That's great. Um, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, sure. So actually, uh, it is very different from most of the companies. Okay. We had only one round, which is a technical round. So it's like a virtual interview. Hmm. So yeah, before the interview, there was a shortlisting process. So I guess uh, in my panel, there was around 24 students, but I later got to know there were like multiple rounds, uh, which happened on different days. So for me, uh, after applying, uh, they called for, my, called for an interview. And after the technical interview was over, there was such a round. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that's the whole process. Okay. And uh, did you not have any online assessment or anything? No, nothing. Okay, directly the interview, okay. Yeah. And what was the interview like? How many, what happened in the interview? Okay, uh, first of all, the shortlisting was based on uh, our GitHub profile and the Stack Overflow. Okay. Because the, the, those are, the, and resume, of course. Uh, because the, these three things are the only, they have asked us to fill in their form. Okay. And uh, the technical interview was about an hour and 45 minutes. Okay. And uh, it was fully based on uh, web development okay. uh, and uh, some, uh, you know, basic problem solving questions. Okay. And uh, in the HR interview, like, there was no questions asked. It was basically about uh, <coughs> our package, what our package will be hmm. and uh, when will be our available to join. So that's it. Like, uh, okay. so the, uh, there's no questions in HR. Okay. And in the technical round, you said there are 24 other people also, right? So yeah. how was it like, uh, were they asking questions one by one or was it like a no, general no. coding question or something? No, actually uh, an hour and 45 minutes for a single candidate. So oh, okay. first, they start, uh, first they started off with basics like uh, what's a web server, what's a session cookie, all the basic stuff hmm. and they moved, uh, leveled up the difficulty. So there was uh, also a system design round. Hmm. Like for me, it was about how you design a YouTube like system. Hmm. Not YouTube like like it. There are like uh, personalized uh, such as features were also there. Hmm. And I didn't I didn't remember all the questions because it was for an hour and forty five minutes. There were hmm. like lots of questions. But uh, the others was like uh, in the problem solving round, they asked me like to design. How will you design a lift? Hmm. But it was kind of different. The reason is uh, they want the simplest solution. Okay. Like you can't de use like advanced data structure like priority or anything. You hmm. have to use only array. Hmm. So it was kind of interesting for me because I have to solve it on the moment. Okay. It's the simplest. Hmm. And uh, yeah, regarding uh, this are like back end stuff and uh, regarding front end, they asked me about React. Okay. Even though in uh, React framework. They didn't ask me how you will write code, but they asked me like how React is implemented. Okay. okay. So I have to uh, talk about like virtual DOM and uh, all the life cycles, that kind of questions were out there. Yeah, I think that's it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's great. So it is like mostly they covered all the aspects of web development, right? 
so front yeah. end back end how each things are implemented and everything right okay. yeah i forgot to mention one thing also like uh, there was also like how we design a system hmm. like uh, they asked me give any certain application and auto build like not system design but basically how we spin up the server okay or uh, that kind of like hmm. how we read what we do in real life hmm. that's it okay okay that's great thank you so much for sharing your experience and do you have any suggestions or anything that you want to share that you learned from your experience of placements yeah sure like uh, i think uh, most of the computer science students they spend a lot of time in psa mm. uh, it's very important mm. but they miss out on system design i guess mm. because it is actually equally important because when you get mess up in uh, system design you will be like uh, directly projected right so even after passing the first round it is difficult for most of the companies dsa round hmm. you have to still get a good hold on system design right the good thing is uh, system design is not uh, so boring uh, because you can watch a youtube video there are hmm. tons of it and it's mostly interesting hmm. so i think uh, you should spend a fairly good time on system design also okay and for juniors who are starting out uh the only advice is to be consistent hmm. because uh uh given in a busy day at least try to solve a simple coding problem that will definitely help you okay. i don't know all days will not be great i have been there so just try to be yourself and get back on track right. that's the uh, only advice okay okay thank you so much thank you for sharing your experience and for your suggestions and i'm sure it's going to be helpful for many people yeah thank you thank you jish say thank you for watching all my videos and giving me so much support so i hope uh, these videos are really helpful if you have any suggestions or any comments please do comment or reach out to me on linkedin or instagram or wherever you want okay and let me know i'll try to implement any anything that you suggest apart from that i would surely suggest that you share my videos and subscribe to my channel while you're watching and stay tuned because i'm going to upload so many more interview experiences in the coming days so because it's still the placement season for the next couple of months at least so for the next couple of months you'll be getting continuous videos so please do subscribe and stay tuned and thank you all for watching